One of the first vehicles powered by a 150 horsepower V12 engine, the 1932 Lincoln Roadster was pure luxury on wheels and more powerful than most of the cars of its era. In season 4, an older man came to the shop wanting to sell his vintage 1932 Lincoln Roadster, and Rick immediately knew he had to go big if he wanted to ride off with this vintage beauty. The seller who calls himself Uncle Phil got the car from a museum a few years ago and was looking to get $100,000 for it nothing less. The fact that it was still in great condition surely contributed to its high price, as Uncle Phil was looking to get $100,000 for it, nothing less. As much as Rick was trying to reduce the price, Uncle Phil was not going to negotiate until the idea of selling him gold came about. Luckily, the Harrisons keep plenty of it in their shop for trade purposes, so this spotlessly maintained car cost Rick $95,000, sending Uncle Phil home pretty satisfied. This might not seem like a lot, but each one of these contain an ounce of gold, uh -huh. $1,550 an ounce. Mm -hmm. I'll so. take your word for it. All right. Yeah. So do the math. We have a lot of okay. cash here. Strangely, some of the priciest items that fall into Rick Harrison's hands are the smallest, so small that most people could easily lose it in their pockets. Described as one of the rarest coins in American history, the 1922 high relief dollar was brought into Rick's shop by a man who had originally won it in a poker game. The gold and silver pawn shop lies just a couple of miles from the Vegas Strip, which means there's a lot of gambling going on just down the road. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins and you won it in a poker game. <laughs> yep. Whoa. The proof piece dollar coin is actually one of the most valuable coins ever made in the United States. The gentleman believed the coin, one of only 10 to 12 left in existence, to be worth around $20,000. Wait, you want 20 for it? 20,000? Do you think it's worth it? Yeah, that? sure, no problem, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, th this is worth a lot more than 20 grand. Oh. However, an expert came in to examine the coin and determined it was worth at least 100000 Rick eventually agreed to give the seller $80,000 for the coin and everyone left happy with the deal. The Harrisons got a special thrill when a mummy mask came through the shop, because let's face it, how often do you get a chance to hold something like that? Antiquities expert Dr. Phineas Castle made an appearance on the show to examine the mask that came from an ancient Egyptian burial site. His over-the-top fashion sense and incredibly awesome mustache makes us truly believe every single word he says. So when he was asked to come to the shop and verify if a customer's ancient Egyptian mummy mask was the real deal, it took him a few seconds before knowing knowing that we were looking at the real thing, and he valued it at $22,500. However, he also added that it was so unique that it could go higher to a collector. Corey decided he wanted the piece and eventually had no choice but to pay the asking price of $30,000 to own it. All right, you want 30 for it? I'll do 30 right now. Right now? Right now, I'm, it's ready? $30,000. $30,000. My man, you got a deal. All right, deal. The car rental company Hertz teamed up in 2013 with NASCAR team owner and entrepreneur Roger Pence to create a limited edition of the iconic GT Mustang. The 2014 Hertz Pence GT Mustang only had 150 of them built with the first 10 Mustangs off the line going to Hertz VIPs and other executives. This was also the only GT Mustang with a six-speed manual transmission. The model purchased on Pawn Stars was one of the first 10 ever made. And in order to verify it and prove it worked, Rick brought in an actual member of Penske's NASCAR team in Joey Lagono to give it a test drive. Joey estimated it to be worth about $75,000, and the seller began negotiations right at $75,000. Rick offered $60,000 and did not offer a cent more. After a few back and forths, Rick stayed with $60,000 and eventually made the deal work. When people decide to walk into a garage sale, they always have a glimmer of hope that they will miraculously come across some rare and valuable object. An extremely fortunate Pawn Stars customer felt this thrill after purchasing a pretty chunk of metal for a whopping 75 cents at a random yard sale. I got it for um, 75 cents. <laughs> really? Kind of like the way it looked. Okay, so I'll give you a buck 50 for it? 
<laughs> Despite not knowing much about it, Rick Harrison recognized there might be some value to this pretty piece of silver. Dropping $6,000 on the piece before even bringing in one of his experts to appraise it and tell them exactly what it was. Expert Craig Gottlieb later told Rick that it was an order of the White Eagle Medallion that dated back to the era of Tsarist occupation of Poland and was actually worth much, much more than he had paid. For the right buyer, its value can be up to $30,000. It was a win-win situation for both the shop and the customer, another rare incidence in the pawning business. 30 to 40 grand. 30 to $40,000. <laughs> That's incredible. Guitars have always been one of the more valuable items to come through pawn shops, especially the ones that date back to the rock era. In season 5, a guy came to the shop claiming to be American guitarist Mary Ford's nephew and carrying a guitar that was invented by her husband Les Paul himself. He even brought paperwork that documented Paul's on-again, off-again relationship with Gibson. Les Paul was one of the original inventors of electric guitars, and together with his wife, he formed a very popular duo in the 1950s. From 1950 to 1954, Mary and Les co-wrote 16 top 10 hits and sold millions of records. This particular guitar would have been a rare and valuable instrument even without the history behind it. But considering that it came from rock royalty, this could become Rick's largest guitar buy of his career. When the guitar expert showed up and confirmed everything, throwing out a $150,000 minimum value with hints of a much higher selling price at auction, Harrison had to practically shoo him out of the store before he said too much. So he and the customer swung up as high as a quarter of a million before the savvy pawn shop owner talked his way down to a mere $90,000 price tag. In season 12, a regular customer told Rick they would be willing to pay roughly $70,000 for an extremely rare 1950 Panama Pacific octagonal $50 gold coin, which was enough for Rick to pack his things and fly across the country to find it. Aside from the rarity factor, these coins had an extreme historical value being created by the US Mint to celebrate the opening of the Panama Canal. Rick managed to track down two of the coins at the auction and ended up convincing the owner of them to drop his selling price from $70,000 down to $67,050. He may have not made that much of a deal in the end, but he did manage to make one of his customers very happy. Initially owned by rock legend Stephen Stills, who was playing it in the folk rock group Crosby, Stills & Nash, the magnificent 1941 Gibson SJ200 guitar somehow got to the gold and silver pawn shop with a bill of sale signed by Stephen himself. On its own, a 1941 Gibson guitar can fetch a high price. Guitar collectors and music lovers especially prize Gibsons for their clear tone and fine construction. But this guitar is extra valuable because of who originally owned it. So when a customer walked into the shop with a guitar owned by the man who wrote for what it's worth, the Harrisons were immediately interested. On its own, the guitar would be worth $75,000, but an expert said that because it had belonged to Stephen Stills, its worth was $105,000. Rick offered the seller $85,000 and the money and guitar changed hands. I'll give you $85,000. I've got to have ninety. Okay. Change your mind, call me. <sighs> 85, man. All right. If you ask all the members of the gold and silver pawn shop what the old man loved above all else, any one of them could easily tell audiences the answer is cold hard silver. And they would be right. The old man was obsessed with collecting the slightly less valuable than gold, yet still incredibly pricey precious metal, and always jumped on the opportunity to make a deal with someone if they have any to spare. So Rick and the old man were blown away when a customer walked into their shop carrying a suitcase full of silver that he'd been hoarding in a storage unit for almost a decade. His father had advised him to invest in the precious metal and he was ready to cash in. When they weighed it out, they found it totaled a whopping 200 pounds. And after Rick wisely had the silver tested to make sure it didn't contain any other metals, he offered Jeff $111,000 for his massive collection of silver and the deal was made. I'm gonna take one of these, Rick. Um, no, no, you're not. Come on. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.